For women across the country, scheduling an abortion is now a legal minefield. Right now, many are wondering if HIPAA will protect their reproductive health data from legal action. Brittany Clemens is here after digging for answers on this question for us today. With the reversal of Roe v. Wade, states have the right to decide if abortions are illegal and how they want to enforce that. Right now, there aren't any states that are prosecuting women for getting an abortion. It mainly focuses on the provider. Now, while states are not looking to prosecute patients currently, it doesn't mean it won't change. I spoke with a medical legal expert to learn how HIPAA plays a role in a post row world. HIPAA is a federal law that generally makes conversations between you and your doctor private. No healthcare entity should be disclosing anything that you tell. But there are exceptions. There are instances where law enforcement can compel a, a HIPAA violation. HIPAA doesn't protect against court-issued warrants, so in states where abortions are considered a crime, health organizations can be forced to hand over health records if someone is suspected of an abortion. But they have to have probable cause. According to Terry McGovern with Columbia University Medical Center, a person might get flagged for an investigation when they are at the doctor's office. For example, if you seek treatment for a miscarriage in a state where abortion is illegal, and a health care provider suspects you have had an abortion with an abortion pill, they could report you. Though McGovern says it is up in the air if physicians will be mandated to report this. A health care provider just can't simply, you know, make a call because you told them something, right? There needs to be some, some kind of legal law enforcement uh, request that is formal. Um, before that should happen. However, doctors are allowed to report personal health information if they think a crime has been committed. McGovern says this exposes holes in HIPAA laws. There is movement afoot to figure out how the federal regulations can be strengthened to, to protect reproductive health information. It's important to remember states are not prosecuting women. They are going after the physician. Prosecutors would use patients' medical records to find who did the abortion. In Tennessee, it's a felony if a doctor performs an abortion and cannot prove it was to save the mother's life. HIPAA doesn't apply to all groups that might seem to be providing medical care. Crisis pregnancy centers, which are nonprofit organizations, are operated by anti-abortion activists and provide free pregnancy tests and counseling. Now, they typically lack medical licenses, so they aren't covered under HIPAA. If they suspect someone had an abortion, they do not have to follow HIPAA and can go to law enforcement. I'm Brittany Clemens.